Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well and welcome to another episode on reasons for failing the driving test. And in this video we are talking about not responding correctly to traffic signs. So in this video we will talk about why learners are failing for not correctly responding to traffic signs. Let's start the lesson. Firstly, stop signs and no entry signs. Many learners, when they see a stop line or a stop sign, what does that mean? It means that you go and you stop, see if it's safe and then you go. Many learners, they fail to stop fully on a stop sign or on a stop line and they fail the driving test for that. Remember, when you go to a junction and you have a stop sign or a stop line, what does that mean? It means that you go and you stop fully and then you check if it's safe and then you go. Many learners, like I said, they ignore and they don't stop fully. Also, the other one learners ignore or they miss is no entry sign. Mostly at the end of one way street, you will have a no entry sign. And if you need to make any turning going left, going right, or even going straight, make sure you know if there is a no entry sign. Don't enter if there is a no entry sign. Many learners, they miss that. Next is the bus lane. Now, can you drive on a bus lane? You could only drive on a bus lane if there is a time limit on the bus lane. Some bus lanes, you can drive on it, but mostly you can't. So make sure if the bus lane is telling you not to drive on it because of the time, make sure you don't drive on the bus lane. Many learners, they miss the sign or they just ignore and they try to drive on the bus lane. Now, there is a difference between bus lane and bus stop. Many learners, they do get confused on that as well. If it's a bus stop, you can drive on it. But if it's a bus lane, then you can't drive on it. Make sure you know the difference, okay? Many learners, they do miss that as well. You can't drive on a bus stop, but you can't park on the bus stop. You could drive on it. On a bus lane, you can't drive. The next one is the roundabout. When you are approaching a roundabout and it's telling you clearly by road signs which lane you need to be, but you miss that. Many learners, they miss the sign and they go into the wrong lane for them to go wherever they are going. So when you approach the roundabout, make sure you recognize the sign and you understand what the sign is telling you where you need to be for you to go wherever you are going. And just to add to that, one of the things about the roundabout is that if you need to go straight ahead, you need the left lane, right? But sometimes the left lane is not going straight. It's only going left. Many learners, they miss that and they enter into the left lane to go straight when the left lane is not actually going straight. It's only going left and they try to go straight from that lane. So make sure you recognize that as well when you are approaching a roundabout. Next is one of the most common many learners, they miss that, is the, is the speed sign, the speed limit sign. So when you're driving, make sure you recognize the speed of the road because the sign is telling you what speed of the road you are driving on. Sometimes they miss the sign totally and the other time they recognize the speed just changed from maybe 30 to 40 or from 40 to 30 and they are not responding to the sign quick enough. They're taking too long. So for example, you are driving on a 30 and it's now 60 or maybe it's 40 but by the time you go to 40, when it's clear, you're just taking it too long okay so if the speed changes make sure you respond according to the road sign okay don't miss the sign also don't take it too long for you to drive the road speed if the road is safe you should be driving the road speed whatever the road speed is so these are the most common problems the learners are failing on traffic signs and my advice to you would be to drive and read the road the way you are going. I say that many times. I have said this before in my other videos and I'm telling you again is make sure when you are driving, make sure you read the road. Unless you read, you're going to miss all the signs. You're going to miss the stop sign, the giveaway sign, the no entry sign, the speed sign. You're going to miss all of that. And if you miss, you will fail your test for that. So make sure you read the road and see what the road is telling you, especially when you are entering a new road. Because when you enter a new road, it tells you in the beginning what is the speed of that road. 
if he doesn't say anything it means it continues from the speed you have been driving if it's going to change it's going to change where the road just started okay that's it for this video and i hope it helps if it does please do give a thumbs up and i'm also helping on other platforms like tiktok instagram and facebook if you want to follow me on those platform i will leave a link on the description for you to follow us on those platform thank you for watching and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and hope to see you again on the next video bye for now